this guys is the new ray, uh, gas cap that replaces this one after doing research there was a recall on the cub tractors because this gas cap right here was letting fuel pour out and these tractors were catching on fire in the fields and burning so i ordered the new gas cap uh, to go on it you can see where the old one the fuel has splattered out around the tops of it right here as i was driving it and using it um, but since now I've put the new one on here, it has the vent hole in the top and everything. Now the old one had a vent hole, but gas would pour out around it everywhere and run out on the top and it kind of concerned me. So I went to doing some research and I found out that they replaced it. There was a recall on these. And, uh, so we got the new one on here now, so maybe we'll be a lot safer.
Hello everybody, this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead. Well guys, as you can see here behind me, they have delivered the material for our last project for this year. And if all goes well, the construction crew will be here on the 28th, uh, the 27th, somewhere in that area to, uh, to start putting this thing together. It will not be completed in 2021. This will be only the construction part of the frame and the roofing and all will be in 2021. The actual finishing of it we think will be done in 2022. Hopefully it's all going to come together like we've anticipated. We're just excited to finally have it. We've been waiting several months for this to actually get here because everything has been on back order and everything else. Plus we had to get in line because the company is very busy. So guys i'm excited deep south finally is going to have its final project for the year this right here is going to be a 30 by 40 barn it'll be a design that i have wanted for a long time it will have the arch at the top it will have the straight sides and then the lean twos off the edges i want it to look like the old-fashioned barns look We've got the galvanized metal to go on the top of it to resemble the old fashioned barns. And we're hoping to have all the wood to go around it like we want to look like the old fashioned barns. We're just praying that everything comes together and that that works. Now we actually have exposed beams and all, which I'm gonna be doing on my own to go inside it because I wanted the big beam structure like the timber frame structure on the inside of it. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be installing a second floor up in it, things to that nature. Uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes as we put it together. Ideas may change as we go along, but right now we kind of have a specific look and a specific thing in mind. We want a place to put the cub tractor to get it away from over at the other barn, get all of our cub implements to go over here with it, to go with this homestead, uh, we're wanting to be able to have a place for the cows to come. Uh, we're going to try to get them out of the other barn that's over there and turn that back into what it originally was, which was a shop. So hopefully, all of this is going to come together here pretty soon. And our homestead is going to be finally complete. So guys, stay with us through 2022 because that's when you're going to see a lot of the stuff going on with this building is going to be next year. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.